Hello everyone, Karen here. I am doing some quick videos to celebrate the fact that it was just a week until our sunflower challenge starts. And as you know, if you've been reading my emails and posts, this is not just about planting sunflowers. This is about measuring, using number sense, and um, doing art, doing geography, doing science, doing every part of your provision. But I wanted to show you this idea from this lovely book here. And we've got as you can see, 10 seeds, one ant, Ruth Brown's beautiful 10 seeds book. Then we've got nine seeds and one pigeon. Now there's lots and lots of things I can show you to do with this because we've got the seeds on each page. Eight seeds, one mouse. But I want to show you just one of the little things that we'll be doing together. And we will spontaneously have lots and lots of sharing on the pop-up group. So there are lots more ideas being shared. But here we've got the 10 seeds. And you've got the 10 seeds along the bottom, then I'll show you something different to do with those as well. And then what happens when the pigeon comes along and there are only nine seeds? So what's happened to this one? It still exists, but where is it now? And we've got our number bonds here of nine and one. I sometimes use these, what I call spotty five frames, two five frames making a 10 frame because it helps you see what was there. So we could remove that one completely if you want. And then we've got eight seeds because the mouse comes along. So, of course, depending on which pattern you're using, you could remove this one and be left with the twos pattern or you could remove this one. And we're looking at the fives pattern. So what happened to that seed? Make sure it's meaningful. And then we've got again, we can get rid of that if we want. And we've got our number bonds here. And we've also got the five and three. Let's go one more. What comes along next? Or... Oh one slimy slug and by this time look the seeds have started to change it's such a beautiful book and we're going to see this happening with our sunflowers as well particularly if you plant them in two plastic bags some of them so you can see what's happening so they've germinated and the slug comes along as they do and takes eats another one so now we've got our number bonds there of seven and three so this is just one of the many things that we are going to be doing on the sunflower challenge so i'm going to include a picture here of where to sign up uh, you have a week left to sign up the doors close on thursday the 13th of april so if you're in it i can't wait to work with you and of course as usual we've got lots and lots of prizes on offer